Let me show you what new cool features there are in Time Planner app version 3.11. The most attentive of you could already notice the extra line of text available now. And the whole bubble grid is more compact because the size of the bubbles depends on the size of your screen. And let us move to the settings. We can do that right from here. And I will show you the brand new grid style. It is called Tiles. It is available in Pro version. And look how different it is now. So it is more compact, more ergonomic. It fits more text in, if you need the text. But the logging works the very same way. You tap on a bubble, you stop logging. And now it has an extra informational toast that allows you to stop accidental logging from being recorded to the logged activities. But if you have been logging something for longer than a few seconds and you stop logging, you could see the edit button active. And from here you can add note, edit something or write down what was performed. And it would work the very same way as if I used the menu button and edit and logged activity. By the way, about logging menu, you don't need to long press on tile, but you tap on bottom right corner. And the first item here in this menu is category. It is the shortcut of all the objects in the category where this activity belongs to. And also, as you could see, the side drawer doesn't overlap the main view of the tab anymore on bigger screens. And I'm recording that from my tablet. One more thing is in Login tab. When you apply some filters, the filter icon is highlighted. So you realize that something was filtered out. And I bring it back. Alright, have a great time planning!